So today we're using Beauty Floss and this is compression tape. You can get this off Amazon for a couple of pounds. You can use it over any joint wherever you've had a strain. So today I'm going to show you an application you can use for if you're getting RSI, so pain in the forearms, or if you're getting wrist pain. Wrist pain from, let's say if you do boxing and you sprain your wrist while training, or any other sport, um, this is very, very beneficial. So I'm basically going over the area. Today I'm showing for the, for the wrist, and I'm covering the forearm and the wrist, and then I'm going to wrap it as if it was a hand wrap which is what boxers use to protect their wrist. So I'm pretty much covering the area above and below the joint. Once you've done that, you can tuck this end bit in, which takes a bit longer usually to, to do. Let's see if I can do it any faster today. Okay, that's good enough. And now you can go through the range of motion of the, the joint. And what you'll notice is once you take the band off and you compare one to the other, it will feel completely different. And if you've sprained this wrist, as soon as you've done this, it will feel completely different. So you can see with my hands, there's a bit more blood going through the hands. It's actually, when I take this off, I'm gonna, my arm's going to go red. So there's going to be a flush of blood flow to the area, which is improving circulation, nutrition, and drainage. So improving the injury and improving my injury uh, time in terms of recovery time. So I can go through flexion extension and I want to do 20 repetitions of this for example and then I want to take this off. I want to do this about four times a day and I'm only having the band on for say a minute or two minutes while I do the repetitions and then I can take it off and then now if you see my range of motion it will be improved and if you have an injury you'll notice a significant difference. So try this at home, a couple of pounds a really good investment, you can use it over any joint and today we're just demonstrating mobilization of the wrist after a wrist sprain.